Hello! Red here, bringing you the big 5-0, part 50 of the Byzantine Empire. And, let's continue, shall we? So, we're all waiting a bit. Probably bring up to high speeds. Now it's speed 4. And we're just waiting to... Well, let's hold the feast, actually. We're trying to kill the King of Serbia. Though nothing has come of it yet. Though with 122% plot power, it should be getting to a certain point so we can kill him off. You. I saw someone there. You. And no one else. All the blind people don't want to come. I mean, they probably couldn't find their way to the party anyhow. <laughs> so sorry. So, um, but we do have a nephew who's a brilliant strategist. And the party ended. And we're making friends. I have a son named Daniel. So my heir is already making babies. That's very good to know. Right off the bat. Also, you're not, you're actually, this any actually flip you over. Actually, the wrong religion. It's quite funny, but it has to change. There we go. My other son, yes, he's the correct religion. But I can't change your religion. There you go. Our line should now be bit more established. And we did lose our marshal, so now um, I guess my nephew can become marshal. No harm in that. Well, actually, a bit of harm, but it would be no fun in that. There wasn't a bit of trouble brewing from that. From it anyway. Let's see here. Very close to reaching. Everyone would be happy with Vassal and his levies. And we can make our prince ambitious. Let's go do that. Since our religion calls for owning Jerusalem directly for Pentarch. Look at that, we have a new person. There's no sort of cons for that. I think that um, we'll declare war for Jerusalem or Alexandria. I wouldn't mind taking that for us. So let's see. If we declare war on you, can you go for Alexandria? Though you call him Perm the Sultan of Africa, High Chief from Mordia, and kind of. Yeah, is that because you have an alliance? No, you're just simply in the pact. Has it been that far reaching, is it? No. But yeah, you actually you call them the pagans. So how scary are pagans? Yeah, one thousand one hundred. Actually no, it's not right. 
three thousand, that's four thousand, and we have you, which is two thousand plus whatever you call in. Plus your force of sixteen thousand men and Africa's ten thousand. Hmm. That wouldn't be the landslide I would be hoping for. I think for now we hold off. We don't need to go to war just yet, plus I doubt they'll be hanging over this for long. They are a pretty big country. What made you like me? Is there any way I can make you like me? No, you're just zealous. Oh well. We have a revolt. Peasant revolt for Rama. They want independence. Which there is a whole 2,000 men. You don't really give me that much support. There we go, 3,000 men. Go and do the job. And I lose Gregarious. No longer shall I be inviting. There we go. Venetian commanders. There's no one good in this empire who can fight. There we go. Let's go and crush some rebels. It's all light infantry, so we're gonna die pretty easily. And we do have a nice, solid 8,000 men. Written new wise. Very nice. And do have some cash. So we can build... Probably we should build a master training ground. Just get some extra troops. Let's go do that. And we win the small war. And we will... Let's execute you. There you go. No longer an issue. There we finally have the chance to kill King of Serbia. And we have more religion flips, including this land. Where we send our uh, patriarch to for Nico Media. So is the plan going place? Oh, he, he's known. But that now makes you like me a bit more. I mean, I have not minus fifty opinion just because I killed your your grandparent. But we'll make you Kaiser, and we'll send you some. I'll uh, we'll send you that money. There we go. 
Problem solved. And we start looking not that bad. Monarchy Light's starting to really grow in the Empire. No longer are we really divided any anymore. And we still have a long way to go, but it makes me feel a bit better that we're not that much in trouble. We had a jolly great time dressed up as wild men, dancing chained together and appearing shaggy from ha hairy head to foot. Too bad the fun was interrupted by a careless person set off fire. The pain, but it was worth it. I saved from any greater harm by Courtier. Some fool poured spirits over me. So, we'll just try not to. If we don't get wounded. And we didn't get wounded. Very good. Did not die. It's good to be king. What to do, what to do. You have a sickly child. He's strong though. So it kind of out balances it. Makes it offset. Not by much. Hmm. How's the war going? Fifty in favor of the Emperor. So unfortunately it's going to fail, most likely. A few more farms now flipped over to Monarchy Light. The name's actually starting to appear a bit more. Have a daughter born, Imperius. It's now a different religion. And we're at fifty-six percent threat. So that's gonna take a long, long time to fuck this. My daughter Georgia wants to get married. Uh fine, I'll find someone nice. Someone in our realm. Or perhaps we'll just make you someone off and far away. Like Sweden. There we go. Between you and no, <laughs> too old. What about Denmark? In Scotland. Nope. I want to make friends with Poland. We're one year old, five year old, so soon to be a no. No one just wants to. Mario to a family. Bohemia. Nip you. Yeah, I'll just leave you alone. You can find someone else yourself. And this faction still continues to grow. Still continues to be a pain.
Who's leading it? I always get rid of you. A lot of people want to get rid of you. And we made lots of progress. So, let's see. Find you. Some dude over here. We can hold a feast. Let's hold another feast. And unfortunately, no one else wants to join this faction. That's 72%. Well, you're good joining. I mean, if you're 72%, then obviously you're going to be in this faction of this uh, plot. Come on. Join the faction. Or not. There we go, 178. Ah, very good. We'll get rid of them soon. And you still want to fabricate a claim on Imperius? No. And we're getting old. Look at us, we have nice... Very old man hair. It's getting nice. Get a hair frizzled. A big bushy hair. There we go. That looks like a man with real power. And we're pious. No wife's actually getting pretty old too. Oh no, our reputation is ruined. We murder people. I can make that duchy now. Give it to you. There you go. Have to consolidate that power. And the leader of the Polish Revolt wants to marry. No. Now, I would be very tempted to form the kingdom of Anatolia, but if it wasn't for the fact that they own a nice chunk of land here, I'd have to say no. And you, Bohemia, wants to marry. No. You, though, my 11 year old son. But we marry you into Bohemia. Instead, have a thirty-two-year-old daughter. Your fourteen-year-old daughter is already betrothed, and that's it. Don't mind that. England. No. Nope. France. No one. Poland. No. That's a shame. What about Sweden. Everyone's already betrothed. Ah, well. How are you, nineteen year old? Married to you. Oh, we can just look for more claimants.
Look for a few young people. Uh, that's very unlikely. No one there. It's not my very good options. There we go, how about you? You're married. Never mind. Oh, well, well, I think I need to cut apart here, so I believe I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.